Every time I think I'm out, they pull me back in. Welcome back to another video. This really popped when I saw it. That to me is a monster increase. Again, this book got hot. This book is ready to go higher. So let's jump right into it. We are back today with another statue review from Diamond Select Toys. Without further ado, let's get into the review. What is good YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles. And guess what day it is? That is right. It is time for the Hot 10 Breakdown of the Week. If you guys aren't familiar with this one, I take the 10 hottest comments according to the Key Collector app and I go through them one by one, letting you guys know out there if I'm buying these books at these prices or if I'm staying the hell away. But like always, I remind you guys, if you're not a current sub of the channel, do yourself a favor. I'm giving away two awesome things once we get to 7,000 subs and we are almost there under 200 away with that said i want you to smash the like button for me and of course check me out on instagram and on twitter with that said guys i have been thinking about not doing this hot 10 breakdown anymore because it seems the same books have been on the list for the better part of a year but guess what today we have some of the old but we have some new books Starting off the list this week is a copy of Green Lantern number 76 and the first appearance of Appa Ali Apsa, a guardian of the universe and this iconic cover by the great Neil Adams. This is also the issue where the book is retitled Green Lantern Green Arrow and we just had a CGC 7.5 that just sold last week for a whopping $575 up 18% over the average. Then we had a CGC 5.0 sale of only $347 up 15% over the average. With that said, if you're a big Green Lantern fan, you probably want to own this book. And I think in mid-grade for around 300 to 350 is a decent spot to go ahead and buy this book. In higher grade, it becomes to each his own if you really want to spend that kind of money on this book. But I think with the iconic cover by Neil Adams, and of course, the key issue being where it switches over from Green Lantern to Green Lantern Green Arrow, it's doable for any Green Lantern fan out there if you want to own the book. At the ninth spot this week is a massive key. It is a copy of Incredible Hulk number 181 and the first full appearance of Wolverine. And we just had a CGC 9.0 that just sold last week for $8,375, up 3% over the average. Then we had a CGC 3.0 sale of $2,550, up a whopping 21% over the average. You guys know I put out a video last week about certain Bronze Age keys that are still dipping in value. This is one of them. But I will say this, guys, if you're a big Wolverine fan and you're a 20-year holder and you really love the book, now may not be a bad time to go ahead and buy this one but you have to follow those things i just said if you're worried about price over the next five years i'd probably be staying away but again it's such an awesome key a big time book for any wolverine fan it's always a must own at number eight this week and back on the list is another Neil Adams cover and probably his most classic. It is a copy of Batman number 251 in this iconic cover by the late great Neil Adams. And this is the start of the awesome homicidal Joker we all know and love. And we just had a CGC 9.2 that just sold last week for an insane $2,000 up 9% over the average. Then we had a CGC 6.0 sale of 515 bucks up 13% over the average. If you guys watch my videos religiously, I tell you guys this book in mid-grade is a freaking steal. It is so undervalued. You guys know I just picked up my copy, another copy over the past few weeks. It's a book I'm always buying if you're a big Batman or Joker fan. Enough said, you gotta own this one. Falling all the way to number 7 this week is a copy of Transformers number 1 and the first team appearance of the Autobots and the Decepticons. And we just had a CGC 9.8 that just sold last week for $1,450 but only up 2% over the average. I talk about this book all the time when it's on this list. I'm saying this is one of those nostalgia books from the 1980s that yes, a lot of us want to own but I don't want to spend up to own the copies. I'd rather own the vintage toys. Yes, I know they are so much more expensive but that's where the value is. For me, if I'm going to spend this kind of money, I just want to own maybe like a $100 or $150 copy. Other than that, I'm staying away. At the sixth spot this week and back on the list again is a copy of Iron Fist number 14 and the first appearance of Sabretooth, Wolverine's arch nemesis. And we just had a CGC 
8.5 that just sold last week for only 500 bucks, up 8% over the average. Then we had a CGC 7.5 sale of only $360, up 1% over the average. Another book on my undervalued list, First Appearance of Sabretooth. This book is too cheap not to own, especially in a 7.5 for only 360 bucks. One of my favorite X-Men villains. This one is a must own and high grade as long as it's going for the current value. Coming in at number five this week is a copy of New Mutants 87 and the first full appearance of Cable. And we just had a CGC 9.6 that just sold last week for $237, up 16% over the average. And I have a feeling I know why this book is on this list. There are rumors out there right now that Josh Brolin may show up in Deadpool 3 as Cable. You guys let me know what you think. Drop me comments down below. Either way, I usually don't buy Copper Age books, but I got to be honest, this book is so cheap and in 9.8 i really only want to own a 9.8 so i can get one for cheap i'm definitely a buyer of this book one of my favorite copper age covers to boot oh no at the four spot this week is a copy of x-men number 130 and the first appearance of dazzler who else this is also the second appearance of kitty pride and emma frost and we just had a cgc 9.8 that just sold last week for 2200 bucks up another 29 percent over the average man that's crazy then we had a cgc 9.6 sale of 525 bucks up 18 percent over the average could you imagine spending over 2000 on a 9.8 copy of this book what could we buy with two thousand dollars we're halfway to a tales of suspense 39 halfway to a journey into mystery 83 hell you could buy a really high grade Punisher issue, Amazing Spider Man number 129, or a really low grade Hulk 181. To me, those are all better buys, and you know I'm staying away from this one. Coming in at number three this week is a copy of Star Wars number one, and the first appearance of Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, C3PO, and R2D2, some of our favorite OG Star Wars characters. And we just had a CGC 9.8 that just sold last week for 4320 bucks, up 14% over the average. I'm shocked this book in a 9.8 is still going up we also had a cgc 9.0 sale of only 381 bucks up five percent over the average i always say when we talk about this book if you're a big star wars fan it is a must own but i'm not spending four thousand dollars on a 9.8 i just don't see the value there but however if a 9.0 for around 300 bucks i think that's a decent bet if you're a big star wars fan if you're not then why the hell are you buying this book it's not an investment book for me i'd be staying away if you're not a big star wars junkie at the two spot this week is some more Deadpool goodness. It is a copy of New Moons 98 and the first appearance of Deadpool, the Merc with the Mouth. Now, we just had a CGC 9.6 that just sold the prior week for 600 bucks, up 10% over the average. There's a lot of hype surrounding this book right now and a lot of hype surrounding Deadpool 3. Do I want to own the book? Yes, you guys know that. And a CGC 9.8 with that special Deadpool label. Other than that, there's probably around a million copies for sale right now. So if you're a big Deadpool, Deadpool fan and you want on the book be my guest but be prepared for this book to drop once the movie comes out and finally at the top spot this week what else could it be it is a copy of wolverine number one and the first solo title wolverine series and this classic cover by the great frank miller and we just had a cgc 9.8 that just sold last week for 780 dollars up 17 percent over the average don't forget last week we had a 9.8 sale of 680 dollars we also had a cgc GC 9.8 newsstand copy sell this week for $1,349, up another 10% over the average. We all know CGC is going to be doing that signing with all the creators of this book. So hell, I know why this book is selling right now. But either way, I'm not spending $800 on a 9.8. This falls in line with the Transformers book. I want to spend between $100 and $150 just to own it, just because there are so many copies out there. Enough said. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed another list. But I want to ask you guys a question. Do you still want me doing this list considering all these books have basically been the same over the past year? Should I stop doing the Hot 10 Breakdown of the Week or should I keep doing it? I want to hear your thoughts below. It is now time for my Best Buy of the Week and I'm going with Batman number 251 in this classic cover by the great Neil Adams. This is one of my favorites. You guys know I'm a big Batman fan, a big Joker fan to boot. So to me to own this book, especially when it's only worth around $500 to 600 bucks in mid to fine grade, it is an absolute steal and that's why it's coming in ahead of a Incredible Hulk number 181 and a few others. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.